everybody, it's Rebecca here. Hey, I just want to take a quick minute and come to you and talk to you a little bit about selling wraps. Selling wraps, that's what we do is we sell wraps. We tell people about wraps and we tell people about all these other great products and we try to get wraps on people, which is our number one goal. We know that when we share this amazing, this amazing product line with people and we know when we get the wrap on people that the wrap will do all the work. So we know that. We know that for sure. And I'm a 100% believer in getting the wrap on as many people as possible and letting the wrap do the work. However, we are not in the business, in my personal opinion, of being wrap dealers. And what I mean by that is we put wraps on people for a reason. We put wraps on people to help them try out this product as a sample um, to see what this great product can do, this great um, wrap can do used progressively. And we help them to see what this fabulous product is and how we can sell it as a business and use it um, to change our lives. So that's the purpose of putting the wrap on people. They want to sample it and they want to see what this company and this crazy wrap is all about. However, I believe that we're doing that in order to sign them up as loyal customers so that they can receive the product to their very own home. Um, that we do not have to handle a lot of merchandise, that we don't carry a lot of product and sell at retail, that we don't have to be wrap dealers. So I am all about having plenty of wraps and having wraps available for people to sample. But what I am um, want to make sure that you understand and that I feel really strongly about is that we're trying to sign them up as loyal customers to give them the best benefit and also to take that responsibility out of our hands and of delivering product and making sure we have everything that they always want and that sort of thing. So um, I'm hearing that um, a lot of wraps are being sold, which is fabulous, but I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about some other alternatives and some different ways of thinking about it. When someone asks me how much the wraps are, I don't ever say $25. When someone says, well, how much is it? If I'm out blitzing or if I'm sending a message or if I'm on the phone with someone who's shown some interest or if I'm even making phone calls, you know, about asking people if they would like to try the product, they'll ask me how much it is. And I always say, well, a full treatment is four and you can get a full treatment of four at retail for $100 or as a loyal customer for $59 for a full treatment of four. And then I stop at that. So I always start with the higher number and then go down to the loyal customer number. And then we, they start to ask me more questions and we go into that. If they say something like, if I'm giving them a blitz card, and they say, well, what does this $25 mean? Well, then what I say, well, for $25, you can try a sample. Um, you can try one for $25 just to give it a try. That's perfectly um, a great option. And then I always go back to, you know, but a full treatment is four, so we definitely re um, recommend the full treatment to get the full benefit. And I usually have a picture that I can show them of a wrap being used four times, you know, that type of thing. So, um, so I always start with $100, go down to $59, and then end with $25 if they're showing some concern about the price up to that point so to get them to try it. So I really want you to be mindful of that, that you're not just out selling tons and tons of wraps with, to people for $25 and not doing anything with that. So if you sell a wrap for $25, definitely encourage you and make sure that you get their contact information and that you follow up with them and make sure that they've used the wrap and that they've used it correctly and that they still understand that a full treatment is for. And then what if they come back and say, well, I want to buy another one. You know, I don't want to do the loyal customer. I don't want to buy it. I just want to buy another wrap from you. What I say at that point was one was $25 with a coupon. I mean, you can see here it's $30 um, right there, and then it's a $25 coupon. And so then if they want a second wrap from me, then it's going to cost $30. So $25 for the first one to sample with the coupon that I gave them. It's kind of a one coupon per customer kind of thing, kind of same thing when you go to Sonic or anywhere else like that. And then if they keep wanting more wraps from me, then it's $30 from that point. And then I make sure and remind them, you know, you can buy another one from me for sure for $30, but you know, for two, you've already spent $55 because you spent 25 to start with and then $30 for the second one. I'd be happy to sign you up as a loyal customer to get you those full box of four for $59. So I always try to go back to that loyal customer option as well. 
So if you're out there selling a bunch of wraps um, and not feeling like you're able to close that deal, perhaps you're making it too easy for people to be able to come back to you and get them for $25. So it seems that if I say for, you know, if you're buying two for $50, um, but if I'm saying you're buying two for 55 because your first one was 25 and then your second one was 30 then it maybe gets in closer to that $59, you know. And there's a lot of things that go on in our head um, that they don't realize. They don't realize that they're going, oh, gosh, that's almost 59 I could have got four by now. So that sort of thing. So just want you to be mindful of all of that when you are blitzing and share. Ah, notice I can need to um, label my blitz cards. Um, when you're out blitzing and you're sharing this coupon, that you actually recognize it as a coupon and that the first one is 30 with a $5 coupon off for $25, and then after that it's 30 So it's, you'll be easier, it'll be easier to upsell people to the loyal customer program when you kind of have that in your mind as well. So, same thing at a wrap party or anything. If someone buys one and tries it for $25, I've had people want to buy another one and take it home. That's perfectly fine, but it'll be $30, and that's $55 that you spent tonight, and you could have signed up as a loyal customer for $59. So just kind of be looking and thinking about some of those things so that you can work on that upsell of people and get them signed up as loyal customers, you know, because, you know, the big money for us is that volume through, through loyal customers that you get them signed on for that three-month period of time and that you don't have to manage the product and deliver and all that kind of stuff. So um, best of luck with that. I just really encourage you to try some of those new strategies to get yourself um, upselling and getting those loyal customers signed up. So you guys have the best rest of your week and best of luck with um, signing those loyal. So see you soon.